How can I help my number one detective? How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Well, I know the guy can scarf down half a dozen burgers at a time. He's the best linebacker ever to play for the Manatee. He also told me he's really psyched to play college ball next year. College football? Hulk's dream is to become a great college football star and then play for the Miami Dolphins. He lives and breathes football. Do you know Connie Watson? I've seen her around, but we've never had a class together. I don't think she's ever been to Maxine's. Why do you think she's never been to the diner? I'm not sure. She's very private about what she does after school. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Well, for one thing, his name isn't really Hal. He uses Hal because his Japanese name is way hard to pronounce. He's an exchange student who's all study, no play. And he's obsessed with getting a college scholarship. Poor guy. What's wrong with wanting a college scholarship? I feel sorry for him because he's missing out on all the fun of high school. He needs to seriously chill. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? Well, Jake was a member of the film club. He was always messing around with video equipment. Film club? A former student donated some high-tech video equipment to the club. Jake was filming his own project. Any idea what Jake's film project was about? Not sure. I guess he was shooting a documentary, because I never saw him with a script or any actors. What do you know about the break-in at the pharmacy? Well, the police thought it was a prank at first because it didn't look like anything had been taken. Then the pharmacist found one particular drug missing. I think it was a steroid or something. Why would Jake have an old English book in his locker? Jake wasn't really what you'd call a scholar. I don't know why he'd have that book. Was Jake interested in judo? <laughs> You're kidding, right? The only physical thing Jake did was to think up new ways to get other people to do his work for him. Hal, Hulk, and Connie were all involved with Jake. He had information that could jeopardize Hal's career. Connie once dated Jake, and Hulk seems awfully touchy about that break-in at the drug depot. In my humble opinion, you either hand the case over to the police or keep pressuring each of them until somebody cracks. Oh yeah, Nancy, I just remembered. Some guy dropped off this note for you. I think it's important. A note? Yeah, it's right here. It must have something to do with the case. See you later. How can I help my number one detective? See you later. Later, detective. is it you want now? Goodbye. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Jake knew you copied your essay from that book of English essays, didn't he? Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Well, why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. 
My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this, I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Talk to you later. I must go now, Nancy. to pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Bye. Bye, Nancy. something to make this work.
what is it you want now? Goodbye. See ya. You have reached Vandalay Pharmaceuticals Drug Depot. Due to unforeseen depletions of our drug supplies, we are temporarily closed. This is Maxine's. Hi, I'm Maxine. Come on down for the best burgers in town. Woo! Daryl, you stop that. How can I help my number one detective? See you later. Take care, detective. What is it you want now? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Why did you enter a men's tournament when you could have easily won the women's division? The prize money is a lot better in the men's division. It was enough to cover the tuition for college next year. Hey, I'll do whatever it takes to reach my goal. Now I'm going to be the first one in my family to go to college. Could you have hated Jake enough to kill him? 
Do you think I would give up everything I've worked for and do a stupid thing like that? Jake treated me really badly, but I'd never kill him. You can turn me in if you want to. I'm telling the truth. Goodbye. I'm out of here, Nancy. to pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Jake knew you broke into the drug depot. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. Would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Errand boy? The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl, too. Bye. I'm out of here. I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Bye. I'm out of here. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Talk to you later. Farewell, Nancy. Hey, Nancy, need something? Goodbye. See ya. How can I help my number one detective? I saw Jake's tape, Daryl. I know he was blackmailing you. You got me there, detective. But it didn't have to be like this. I wish we had met under different circumstances. What were you selling? Drugs? Trade secrets? I didn't know what I was getting into. This guy, Mitch Dillon, offered me a way to make some fast money. I needed the cash for school next year. So I went for it. All I had to do was pick up a package at the pharmaceutical company. But then Mitch threatened me. So you were a drug runner? Oh, Daryl. But how did Jake find out? I don't know. But Jake was always getting into someone's business. Maybe he overheard a conversation between me and Mitch. All I know is one day Jake stuck a videotape in my face and told me he had enough to put me away unless I paid him off. I had no choice but to cooperate. I guess he decided he could get more money out of Mitch. That was a big mistake. Mitch was in a different league than Jake. Mitch killed Jake, didn't he? Mitch is totally capable of it. We need to get more evidence on Mitch Dillon. If only we can get him to confess his involvement with Jake's murder somehow. I care about you, Nancy, and wish you weren't involved in this mess. But if you insist, I'll help you catch Mitch. I have to deliver more food to the pharmaceutical plant later. We can try and grab Mitch when I give him the package tonight. See you later. See you, beautiful.
told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Hulk, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. Sorry, babe. I can't risk getting involved. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Hal, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. My future is at stake. I have to make the grades or my family won't continue to pay for my education. I must go now. Hey Nancy, need something? Connie, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. I, I wish I could, Nancy. I can't take that kind of risk right now. Not with college, just around the corner. If I get involved, the truth about the tournament would be exposed. I'll never go to college if that happens. Daryl's life is in danger. He really needs your help. This is starting to get really intense. I don't want to get involved, even if it means I would get the chance to help Daryl. around it. It's all over for you. Dear Dad, case closed and Mitch is on his way to prison. Daryl's recovering just fine and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy and Hal got his scholarship. Today, Aunt Eloise got a letter from a friend, something about a television station in Death Threats. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy.